Sing and make music to the Lord in your heart, always thanking God the Father for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. How are you doing? It's fine. Hopefully after this you can go Waffle House to get a good breakfast. But before that, we're going to give thanks to God for all the blessings, the blessings we have received during this week. But before that, let us, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, frequently sin in my thoughts and my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask a blessing all the angels and saints, brothers and sisters. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today, we have a lot of things to celebrate. One of the themes is we're going to offer this holy mass for the intentions of Pan family. At the same time, we want to give thanks for our lives, especially today is my mother's birthday and our seminarian Arturo's birthday. So we give thanks to God for the lives that God keeps blessing them and they can continue doing their lives as a gift. La celebración la, la ofrecemos mamá por, por su cumpleaños y por la de Arturo. Let us pray. O oh God, who always listens mercifully to your servants in distress, we humbly receive you as we give thanks for your kindness, that free from all evil, we may constantly serve you in gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. The high priest Helkia informed the scribe Shaphan, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and re who read it. Then the scribe Shaphan went to the king and reported, Your servants have smelted down the metals available in the temple and have consigned them to the master workmen in the temple of the Lord. The scribe Shaphan also informed the king that the priest Helkiah had given him a book and then read it aloud to the king. When the king heard the contents of the book of the law, he tore his garments and issued his command to Helkiah the priest, Ahikam, son of Shaphan, Akbor, son of Micaiah, the scribe Shaphan, and the king's servant Asiah. Go, consult the Lord for me, for the people, for all Judah, about the stipulations of this book that has been found. For the anger of the Lord has been set furiously ablaze against us, because our fathers did not obey the stipulations of this book, nor fulfill our written obligations. The king then had all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem summoned together before him. The king went up to the temple of the Lord with all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, priests, prophets, and all the people, small and great, he had the entire contents of the book of the covenant that had been found in the temple of the Lord read out to them. Standing by the column, the king made a covenant before the Lord that they would follow him and observe his ordinances, statutes, and decrees with their whole hearts and souls, thus reviving the terms of the covenant, which were written in this book. 
And all the people stood as participants in the covenant. The word of the Lord. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Incline my heart to your decrees and not to gain. Teach me the way of your decrees, O Lord. Turn away my eyes from seeing what is vain. By your way, give me life. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice, give me life. Teach me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of, of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruit you will know them. Do people pick grapes? from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so, every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits, you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. You know that I like to make questions. So, somebody can tell me some line from the psalm. Do you remember some line? From the psalm? It's okay. I'm going to help you. I know that you want to participate, but I'm going to help you. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Beautiful line, right? Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. In the biblical tradition, the heart it was not only how we understand today in a romantic sense, like, oh, my heart loves you, mwah, mwah, mwah. oh, my heart, blah, blah, blah. Very, you know, sentimental. But in the biblical tradition, in the ancient time, the heart, it was the source of all the human life. I would say it was like the brain. Because in your heart resides your will, your feelings, your knowledge. That's mean all the decisions were taken from your heart. All your thoughts came from your heart. All the things you want to do came from your heart. And what I say in this is because today the gospel is invite us to give, to give good fruits. But in order to that, we need to what? Transform our hearts which means all our life. Because how we can serve to the Lord when we 
don't have any experience of the Lord. And the experience of the Lord is not about you're going to fly or you're going to feel some smell. I don't know. But the experience of the Lord is to know that you are loved. And that is the reason our Lord Jesus Christ gave his life in order that you can gain a new life. That is so important that we need to keep in our daily life the daily prayer because through the prayer we can realize the many blessings that God gave us. Through our prayer we can recognize that we are no powerful. Through the prayer we can recognize that even when I have many things, I still depend on God. This is the beautiful meaning. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Because in the spiritual life, there is many temptations. And one of them is just pick one of these sections of the heart. Remember, I told you that the heart, there is, you can find the ancient time, reason, feeling, willing. So, for example, Sometimes we just stay with the God from the reason, which is good because you can give that a speech, right, or in a philosophical way about God is good, God is all these doors, la, la, la. It is good. But do you have a relationship with him, the God who is the source of, of life? Maybe another aspect about our willing sometimes can be the temptation about, okay, I'm going to do all of this. I'm going to pray the rosary. I'm going to, I don't know, uh, just lay down there for one hour, making the shape of the cross to pray to the Lord. <clears throat> because if I'm going to do that, I'm going to receive something very moralistic, right? It's about the law. Sometimes it can happen. All of us, we went through that experience. But thanks God, somebody told us, uh-uh, this is not the way. Oh, about the God of feelings. Oh, I feel God. I feel so good. Ten minutes later, you're going to feel distress. And what are you going to say? Well, God left me. God abandoned me. So you see how important is that our relationship with God needs to take over all our human life. My mind, my heart, my will. And when we let the Holy Spirit to transform all these aspects in our lives, we can give good fruits. And you know that it's not complicated. Yesterday we talked about that. For example, open the door and smile. Good morning. God bless you. This is, is about giving a good fruit. Because you don't know who is the person who is crossing through the door. Maybe that person has a bad day. Maybe that person received a bad news. Or just approach another and share with that person words of consolation. You know, God is the good shepherd. He's walking with you. You are not alone. I'm praying for you. In these small actions, in these small deeds, we can give to God all the glory. In these small actions, we can give good fruits because that words that actions we receive first and we know that is true so brothers and sisters today that the gospel is calling us to be i would say like a letters of presentation so where we go people can see in us not just uh, Philip, or just Juan, or just another person. No, people can see in us the love of God through our actions, through our deeds, 
through our words. It, and you know, it is not complicated. Everything is gonna, is, uh, is gonna begin with the small details. But keep that in your mind, in your heart. That is so important to keep praying, to give thanks to God through the Eucharist. That anytime we come here, we can renew a relationship with Him in order that after the Mass, we can give fruits, fruits of joy, fruits of hope, fruits of forgiveness. Let us, brothers and sisters, keep celebrating our faith because God is good, God is faithful. So let us pray that we can receive that grace to transform our heart, that we can praise God for all the things we have received from Him. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray in mercy, this sacrifice, which we offer you in thanksgiving, for our deliverance from, from distress, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always in every word to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest that resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, shine in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fun of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and the auxiliary bishops, Ned and Joel, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Land of God, you take it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth.
Let us pray. Almighty God, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants from the bound of sin and in your compassion to restore their strength, grant us to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, I would like to say thank you for your hospitality during these days. I really enjoy to come here. We are a lovely community, so I keep doing that. Why? Because even in the daily Mass, you see a good number of the communities present here celebrating the Mass. So I don't want to imagine how it's going to be during the weekends or how it is during the weekends. But you are a lovely community, so keep me in your prayers all the time. You are always in my prayers. Okay? Deal? Deal. And you know the mission, right? What is the mission? Oh, yeah, very good. All the time, one person answered me, but I think everybody is the same. You need to be an image of God outside, okay? And I would like to ask you to help me to pray for my mother and Arturo in their birthdays, okay? Amen. We're going to give them a blessing. So you're going to pray, or you're going to help me to pray as a community, as a divine right for their life. Deal? Deal. Good. Now, yeah. Ah, now you answer more. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> We want to give you thanks, Almighty God, for your life that you keep making your life as a gift, as a blessing in our community, in our life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May Amen. the Lord show his face to you and have mercy on you. May the Lord give you the gift of his peace, love, and mercy. May the Lord bless you and keep you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And keep praying for him, because who knows, maybe in the future, he be your pastor. <laughs> Let us consecrate our lives to our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy one Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.